I'm gonna show you today how to paint this uh, tulip flower pot. It's four sides. One side is just the leaf and the pot, and the other one has the actual flower on it. We're gonna use evergreen fluff. You could use fluff or cotton. A um, little bit of kernel mustard. A little bit of rebel yellow. Maybe even some daisies. I like to switch it up. Daisy color. Um. Anyway, I hope you enjoy. Uh, uh, for this particular one, the customer wanted a green pot. So I painted the pot and the leaves both a green color. I'm going to separate it by adding a lighter color green to the leaves in a minute. Depending on what color you want your pot, though, you could make your imaginary line right across there and paint your pot one color and your leaves one color. Make sure that you get all your edges, but don't get inside of here. In fact, try to wipe the paint out of here because the more paint that gets in the crack, the tighter the fit's going to be. We'll be walking on the water, dancing on the way. show you that I usually put two coats of green on the pot and then two coats on here which I did a dark coat underneath and then I did a light coat of uh, this scallion color over it it doesn't have to um, you can let the dark green show through so that it kind of um, gives it a little bit of dimension and then I took um, my little brush and my dark green and I just made the shape of a leaf. It's not perfect. It's gonna look good from afar. You can see that um, I made my hot edge with the brush. I just took this brush right here and went all the way across, giving it my, my line. Now, I know people say, well, yeah, you can do that, but I can't. So uh, here's a deal. Take, I'm looking for something to grab. Take the other pot and use it as your line and draw a line all the way across. Take anything, a book, a piece of paper, and draw your line across. It doesn't have to be perfect. I know I say that a lot, but it really doesn't. Now I'm going to do the other side. And I'll, I'll let, you know, at the beginning I painted both sides really fast and then I'll let them dry. Well, then I came back and I did one side, the second coat, and let it dry completely. Now I'm going to do the other side. And then we'll start on the date You are my masterpiece. You are the reason I see. This is my song for you. Every star in the sky, I set every star into place. So you would remember. green like light green and dark green if it's dark I use light if it's light I use dark slashes on there just to kind of give the shape of the pot nothing fancy nothing spectacular then I'm going to come back with my black marker and give it uh, an outline let me see if I can do this I don't know if I can do this and hold it at the same time go ahead and lay it flat you just like keep it propped up in case anything's still wet uh, you want to let those layers dry in between so I'll take this uh, painter's marker, this black painter's marker, make sure it's good and wet, and I will outline, just put your marker on the edge of the flower, on the edge of the leaf, and I'll give this a little bit of an outline here, and I'll do this one. Don't worry if, you're, if your lines don't meet up. Uh, I'm going to take it all the way across the top here. Let's see. Trying to look through the phone and do this at the same time. Hit the edge, hit the edge, and then all the way across the top here, just to give your your pot that uh, lid lip. Hit the edges here, 
I hit the edges here. And now I'm done with the pot and the flower part. I mean, sorry, the pot and the leaves. Easy white, I'm gonna use this fluff. You can use fluff, you can use cotton, you could use uh, chalk white, just whatever white you have. I'm gonna give it two coats. No, I'm gonna give it one coat and then I'm gonna show you what I do after that. Be sure you get all these little creases in here too. So, for the center of my daisy, let's see, I'm left-handed here. I'm gonna take uh, this dark kernel mustard. I'm gonna draw just a circle here in the center. Then I'm gonna, I'm gonna double dip. <laughs> I'm gonna double dip into this rebel yellow and I'm gonna swirl that in there and kind of give it a nice you don't want to blend it completely together because you want your dark and your light to show through. And I might, uh, I'm going to roll my brush up here just to kind of get that off. I'm going to come back one more time with the dark. I'm going to do like two C's like that. So it's like dark, light, dark. See how I'm doing that? Okay, now I'll lay that brush right there. I'm gonna get a little brush and put a point on it. And I'm going to dip into this coffee can brown. Wipe it off so that you don't have like a glob on here. I'm going to come around the outside edge a little bit. Like again, like two seeds. It's okay that it blends in because I like it. I like it like that. I mean, that's just it. I like it. I'm gonna dip it again, and I'm gonna do another dark C kind of in the center here, just like that. Doesn't have to be perfect. Just to give it a little bit of dimension. Now, while that's drying, I'm gonna put some dark lines in here. Just kind of swipe them on. It's okay if it's a little gloppy, not too much. Then I'm going to come back with my white and I'm going to drag those mostly from the top down. You see what I'm doing? Daisies aren't pure white petals. They have dark in them. You can dip your white when you need to. I can show you the next step. Okay, so now I'm gonna work on the center a little bit. I'm going to take this green, the same green I've been using all along. I'm gonna find me a tiny little brush sprout. I'm going to dip this green. Again, you want your paint to be fluid. If you need to add water to it, do so. I'm just going to pull out from the center and some tiny little marks. Like I always say, they don't have to be perfect or even. And for each section, I'm probably gonna pull around the edge there. 
I'm going to continue to do that all the way around. And one thing I'm going to do as I go is I'm going to come back with that white. I'm going to go ahead and show you this too. I'm going to come back with that white and I'm going to probably turn my brush at an angle and just pull back through here a little bit just to take some of the darkness out. Leave it looking like it's kind of layered in there and that it's more towards the bottom. All right. <laughs> thing about this is uh, this dark this coffee bean brown I'm going to create some faux lines that kind of outline I'm gonna bring these corners down in to make the leaf uh, more elongate not the leaf but the petal more elongated I'm gonna do a little just you know swipe around the top here just to outline it just a bit make it pop off at the same time I'm also going to dip it and come back in and do a few little swipes around the grain just to give it a darker a darker look it, cre uh, it creates the appearance that it's actually coming up at you and with this being the highest point up here. Once I've done that, I'm finished. Don't forget to put your uh, dark lines here too, just to kind of even this out. I'm making all things new. Watch me do it, I'm wishing I, yes I am. I dare you to believe how much If you could see on the time lapse, sometimes you have to tap them into place because the paint makes it thicker. Isn't that cute though? You can totally do that.